What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is our resolution check for July. Welcome to month seven. Um, now I have um, modified my resolutions page to actually reflect what's currently going on. Um, because at about halfway through the month, I had to change again, essentially. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through one by one. Um, that was awesome. Okay. So if you haven't seen any of my resolution things, um, the videos before I set resolutions and goals um, within five different areas um, so relationships these are not necessarily romantic relationships these could be family friends you know, partners um, not business partnerships because that fits into category two which is my career and that would be where I would cater to business partnerships, um, where I would go for career advancement, maybe pick up new skills to help me, you know, get a, get, get a particular promotion or whatever it may be, that would go into there. Fitness, um, specifically is looking at um, my, my physical fitness, um, this is where we look at things like exercising and dieting, well-being is more of a mental fitness but yeah um so that's all my mental health stuff um um speaking of mental health this is my my little friend friend that keeps me company um and then the last one number five is finances and Hooey, are we in a wreck at the moment there? <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, so let's dive in. Number one, relationships. Um, sort of the one that's been predominantly going in this, in this part the most um, is spending more time with family and friends. Um, and I feel I've done that pretty well this month. I mean, I went out of my way to go a film shoot um, for a friend um, so you know like I, I you know I made two new friends on that shoot um, both of them are amazing and I really hope they get to work with them again real soon I uh, they are Talented, talented as all get out. Um, I just you catch me simping just a little bit on their on, on, on their talent um, because they, as far as I've seen, know how to make beautiful films. Um, so yeah, um, definitely big tick for that one. Um, hung out with one of my other mates he's still 100% down to do a podcast with me which yeah I don't know how it's going to work next year if I go to afters um but I'll, I'll, I will find a way to make it work I'm pretty sure I can record it on discord so we may just have to log into discord together um and record it that way maybe the only way we can get it to work um I've also, I've also organised a games night with a couple of friends up here. Um, we'll see how we'll see how well that goes. Um, one of my friends gets migraines every couple of months, um, and everyone else seems to not want to do games night without them. So um, yeah, that's uh, on top, and that's also on top of the fact that they're studying at university 
uh, I'm doing university level studies, but it's online, so I can sort of save and exit, go have a games night, come back the next morning um, and keep going sort of thing. I don't have to leave and go anywhere. Um, so big old tick for that first one. The second one in this particular category is prioritizing self-care. Um, and um, yeah. There are definitely some things that I've got to I've got to step up in, um, but I definitely think I'm making a bit of a breakthrough at the moment, as far as healthy habits are concerned. Um, for instance, um, I got into a, a rather unhealthy habit of just fasting until like the middle of the day or later, um, and now when I'm getting up out of bed, I am going and I'm eating something. Um, our hot water system's been been shot um, for a little while, um, and so if I'm not one of the first ones to the shower, I definitely try to make sure to have one sort of during the day while the sun's on our solar panels, um, so I can have a, a nice quick hot shower um, those sorts of things, um, trying to get back into, into a good sleep pattern, like it's only, mm, that's not a good example, um, it's quarter past, it, it's, uh, half past midnight at the moment, um, but yes, yeah, so I'm trying to improve my sleep schedule, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, I'm trying to, make all those conscious decisions to sort of look after myself better um, and obviously these all fit into other parts as well um, particularly this one would be a well-being one more or less um but self-care self-care can also sort of just come with you know having a, having a second out by myself to just sort of meditate do some yoga you know like there might be some fitness element involved in it um Priorities and self-care might be trying to get rid of some of the things stressing me out by doing, you know, some career progression with my studies or whatever. So it, it sort of, in the long run, comes down to just the overall, have I done the, the most I could for myself this last month? Um, and I really think that that film shoot helped tick this box quite a fair bit because um, it gave me a chance to talk to someone at afters i've now got some notes from uh, this year's application um not the one that's going to be for like next year's this is for like this year's intake of students the one that was already been and gone um but that's going to help having a look at especially the next couple of days uh, applications will open in the next couple of days, so I'll be able to read through that um, and get sort of an idea of what, I'm, what to expect and get my notes, see if there's any real difference between them sort of thing um, and then the bits that are different I can still sort of mull over while I'm doing the bits that are similar um, and then it won't be until late August that I actually submit that because mid-August um, is the open day so Sydney needs to get its shit together and shut this COVID spike down so that I can actually attend open day because it's kind of important that I be able to do that I just know for myself um, so coming in uh, to our second category a career Obviously, the first one I just mentioned, I'm going to be working on my application for next year's admissions to the Australian Film, Television and Radio School. I have been dreaming about this for the last seven or eight years. It has been a goal. Um, and yeah, I just... 
quietly confident, but I also at the same time don't want to jinx my chances. Um, I'm manifesting the 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 um, admission. I'm, I'm manifesting it. I'm going to get an offer. I'm going to be going there next year. That's I'm manifesting it. It's right there. Um. So yeah. So as long as I'm working on that and have uh, so because uh, uh, there's three different portions to it. So as long as I've got a rough draft of those three things by the end of the month, that one's going to be ticked off. Um, but as far as it goes for this month, yeah, I went and I spoke to people. I got an idea of what to do. I got all my resources. I've started looking through all the notes and stuff. Um, I've got an idea of what I'm going to be doing for each task, assuming it's the same as what those notes tell me. I've ticked it off. Done. Um, my next one, I have actually updated this for this month. Um, but it, I've got my my uh, my PT course. I need to complete that by the end of the uh, sort of sort of by the end of the year, um, very early next year. Um, because the day, the day that it's due to finish, um, I may already be doing classes at um, at afters, so I can't af really afford to be trying to do that as well when I get home. Um, the only reason I'm continuing it, um, regardless of my application for this, uh, is because even if I quit, I've still got to pay for it. So I might as well finish it and actually have that under my belt. Um, because it then gives me something that I can use to f very easily find work while I'm studying and living in Sydney. Um, so I've set the goal for the end of this month. I want to finish the modules uh, and all of the other little bits and pieces that lead up to being able to do my in-gym session. Um, there's a lot that's going to go into that. It's a lot of work, but I've just got to push myself and do it. Um, so yeah, as of right now, I'm halfway through my second of two assignments, um, and I've got everything I need to get my work and tuitions check, and I've got to just sit down and do a, a first aid certificate, so if I can get myself into a better sleep routine, I'll be able to smash, smash that out on a Friday, um, because they're offered every Friday in town, so... With any luck, I've got that in the bag. Um, fitness, as far as that is concerned, um, look, I could say technically that I've smashed out this first one and gone to 100% of the PT sessions that I had this month, but that's leaving out the fact that I didn't have any PT sessions this month. Nor did I really go to park on so much. Um, so this month coming up, not that I can really afford it, I'm going to have to start re-looking at my budget. We'll chuck that in as a finance one when we get down to it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to pay my my overdue gym membership and go back to a to a um, gym session and do a PT session because um, God knows I'm going to need to be in some sort of good shape and some sort of good routine when I'm doing my in-gym studies especially since I'm going to have to drive all the way down to Foster every day to, 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 to do them um, although Maybe I might be able to see if they'll put me on part-time with the hope that I can transfer at the end of the year if I get accepted into afters. That way I won't have to worry too much about looking for work. I can just transfer to Sydney. And then I have to have a look into that. Um, and the second one is to eat better. Um, I feel like I've done that pretty well this month. Um, the um, the No Nasties project, um, which originally made 
sugar-free ice block things. Um, and the same style as like the super dupers and stuff. Um, they've got, I think they've got three different varieties, like, like they're three different variety bags. Um, and all of the flavors are, they've got some that are sort of more of a milky texture and they use coconut milk. Um, and they've got two others that are, one's more of like a fruits flavors, and one's sort of like a, a fun flavor. It's got like a cola one in there, I think it has. Um, they're all awesome. But they also um, recently came out with three different types of breakfast cereal. One's sort of like a, a Cocoa Pops type of deal. One's a Fruit Loops and one's a Rice Bubbles. Um, the um, the Cocoa Pops ones and the Fruit Loops ones have um, Avengers and Spider-Man on them. And being the Marvel fanboy that I am, I got those. Um, but given that there's, like, you know, um, it said on the box, 50% less sugar. Um, so given that, uh, I was able to have fun breakfast that was still good for me. Um, and then the dinners have been really good. Um, and it's just sort of come down to what I'm having for lunch. Um, and so given all of that, I think I've done pretty well. Um, because of my limited financial resources at the moment, I'm very conscious about my snacking habits at night as well. Um, so even though I still do that, um, I am trying to be a little bit more conscious about buying things that are going to last me longer um, over sort of the cheaper, higher sugar stuff. So I'm being conscious of it at least. Um, so yeah, we shall, we shall continue to endeavor to do better at that. But I, uh, I, I was definitely more conscious of it this month than I was the month before. So the, it gets a tick in its favor. Uh, well-being, um, attend psychologist appointments, tick, uh, it's been about two months since I had one, not my fault, not anyone in particular's fault, it was just a, a bit of a miscommunication between when I thought it was booked and when it was actually booked, and then just unforeseen circumstances, blotting it back another couple of weeks from when it was. Um, so I thought it was it was a five week period after my my last one. It wasn't. It was actually supposed to be another two or whatever weeks later. And then as we were getting closer to that, it got pushed back another two weeks. So it ended up being essentially uh, two months since my last appointment. Um, but we went. We went. We did it. We succeeded. Um, I've got to book another one, so I've got to call up and book another one. Um, but we went, we did it. Tick. Um, the the breakthroughs that I have just about every time. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue using the word breakthrough because uh, it's better than mentioning that I'm having breakdowns during my sessions. Um, but yeah, just the. The things that I'm realizing um, that I deal with on the daily, um, and that even my psychologist has said that you know going to afters may actually be the best thing I could do for myself um, for pretty much all of these reasons as well. Um, if I go to Sydney, there's a greater a greater uh, chance of getting a job because there's more jobs on offer. So greater employability um if i go and get a job as a pt that's going to help increase my fitness the, the the independence in doing the the course of my absolute dream is going to help with my well-being um i've already got some really good friends down there um and a bit 
distance might also help with some familial relationships as well. Like it's really just gonna help in about every sense. Um, the bit that I've not been doing so well at is keeping my mental health diary. I actually haven't touched my mental health diary since I can't remember when. Um, if I looked at it in May, it was very early May. Otherwise, it wasn't since like April or whenever Comic Con was. I think that was like early April. Um, I do remember last time I looked at it that I would need another diary for sort of the second half of the year anyway. And now I don't have the money to afford it. So we are going to just try and I don't know, get a notepad or something. Um, might just take off from where, I'm, where I've left off in the book um, instead of leaving pages for filling in those days. Um, we'll go from there. But that one, I did not, I did not adhere to that at all. Um, I was in that habit for the first couple of months and then I go to Comic Con and I took it with me to write in it, but just got the same sort of anxiety as I do when I'm trying to make these videos with other people around. Um, and I just haven't touched it since for whatever reason. Um, and then last but not least, number five, our finances. Um, so the one that I've written in there um, that I thought of earlier in this video was to review my budget at the end of each month. So be like, okay, I am getting this much every week or every fortnight or whatever. Um, how can I still put money away and still be able to go and socialize and stuff what needs to be cut um, and what what can I continue to do um, so yeah we're definitely going to be having a look at that um, and then other than that um, I do want to be putting a certain amount per week into savings it's probably not going to be as much as I've got written here but um, maybe if I just half what I've got sitting there, that'll be doable. Surely I can, surely I can do that. That should be doable. We'll try for that. Um, okay. Cool. And then that's it. That's all I've got for this video. Um, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Um, if you want to be notified of when I upload new videos. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please give a big old thumbs up. Um, and yeah, until next time guys, keep your head screwed on.